hey, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be making my favorite Taiwanese street snack, tong yu bing, which is green onion pancakes. We're starting off with a very simple dough. So this is just flour, and then we need boiling water. So I just boiled this, and we need two thirds cups. Now the reason we're using boiling water is because it helps break down the gluten in the flour, and it also cooks it a little bit. So I'm just gonna start with some chopsticks, and once it's formed into a dough and it's cool enough to handle, I'll start kneading it. All right, I've been kneading it for about a minute or two, and I think it's about ready. I'm gonna seal it up with some plastic wrap, and then we'll let it rest for 30 minutes. And then we'll make these into delicious green onion pancakes. While we're waiting on our dough to rest, we're going to start preparing our inside filling ingredients. So I'm cutting up some scallions or some green onions here. We have a neutral flavored oil, white pepper and black pepper, and some salt. And later, after I cut all these green onions, we'll be able to assemble. Our dough is ready. And you can tell that it's ready because it's a lot softer than it was before. So I'm going to flour my surface and turn my dough out. Mm. Now, I think that this will be good for about eight pieces. I want to make some pretty big uh, tong yu bings or spring onion pancakes. So I want to make some pretty big ones. Cut this into eight equal pieces. Okay, that's the last of our dough. I'm gonna put these aside and stick them in some plastic wrap so they don't dry out. But for this guy, take this little piece of dough and we're going to roll it out as thin as we can. Make sure to flour your rolling pin as well. We don't have to make it so thin to where we can read through it, but we would definitely want it as thin as possible. A circle or a square would be fine. We've gotten our dough rolled out, about as thin as I can get it. There's a little bit of holes and that's all right. We're going to get rid of it later. And actually, holes aren't courage later on. So we're going to take our layer. Our first layer is going to be um, this. Right now I'm using canola oil, but it's just a lightly flavored oil all around the sides. This is going to add beautiful texture. Awesome. And our second ingredient is going to be salt. So the tough part about this is you kind of just have to eyeball it. It's a little hard, it's a little invisible. Sprinkle some on top, that looks about good. And then we're going to go in with some white pepper. Now white pepper is easier because you can use the color to help you figure out how much you want to add. Now I love white pepper, so I like to go a little heavier on my white pepper. So that's up to you guys. And then our last one is going to be some black pepper. Perfect. And if you notice, I'm going all the way to the edges like a cinnamon roll. Now for our star ingredient, our fresh scallions, I'm going to just pour a couple spoonfuls out and then I'll spread it all the way to the sides because what we'll do is our strategy is very similar to a cinnamon roll. Once I get all my ingredients spread out, just like this, I'm gonna take the edges and just roll them up. So right here at the corner, while you were rolling out your dough, it's important that it's not sticking to the surface. And then we're gonna tuck in these little scallions and roll them all the way to the edge. And it's okay if there's a couple of rips as we're going up, if it's sticking to your countertop because later we're going to want it to be ripping open to reveal the yummy scallions inside. Roll it gently up here, tuck it in like a little baby. And then now we have this tube of deliciousness. Stick this in the side. Now, we're going to turn this tube into a snail. So I'm going to curl it in this way and then snail it to create a little loop. And then this end bit will just smash down to the bottom. Now some people like to just take this and then pan fry it when it's all closed and thick. But for me, what I like to do is I take my palm, I smash it down a little bit, and then we're going to get a little bit messy. So we're going to take our roller and just open up our dough. Now, since our dough was so thin to start off, it's going to start breaking open now, revealing all of our 
awesome scallions. I'm going to flour this surface just a little bit so it doesn't get stuck. I can turn it over as well. There we go. Perfect. And then flour it a little bit more so it doesn't get stuck. And then just roll it out pretty thin so then we can see all of the beautiful scallions that we have. And now that this guy is pretty much ready, we're going to stick him into a hot skillet and pan fry both sides. All right, our fire is hot, oil's hot, ready to go. We'll pan fry the first side for about two to three minutes covered. You can tell that he's ready because his top has also started to turn into like a cooked dough color. And the bottom should be nice and golden brown. We'll let that cook in for another two or three minutes until the other side is done. And then we can serve it. I think we're ready to go. Let's check. Oh, gorgeous. Now, you can just eat a whole like this, crack an egg on top, eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I like to eat it with kanji and I have to cut into these little pizza slices. Cut in little chunks of four. And you can see as I'm cutting into it, all the beautiful layers that we made when we were folding it up into the cinnamon roll. Oh, it's a little hot, but it smells so good. Mmm. Oh, it's amazing. Crispy. The dough is really, really soft. And all of those layers, you can see all of the spring onions that we rolled in there. Mmm, that's amazing. Well, I had so much fun making this with you guys. I hope you guys try it out too. And I'll see you next time.